just one second, Grandmother. I'm, I'm taking some notes on this proposal for the foundation. Oh. Hello. Yeah, the real one wouldn't fit my carry-on. <laughs> Noah! Oh, my God. Is that a smile? He just wanted me to see me. Uh, I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. I really missed you. The feeling's mutual. I mean, the trip, the trip was great. No, it was amazing, but every time I saw something that blew me away, I just, I just wanted to turn to you and say, you know, did you see that? Well, if you ever want to go back and take me with you, I'd be all for that. Hey, you need somebody to teach you how to say other things besides ice cream and cheese. <laughs> for Maggio. <laughs> well, you don't have to answer that. Yeah, I do. It's Brian. Hey. Uh, no, no, I'm at the farm. Noah just got back at... Brian says hello. Hey. Hey. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's fine. Uh, I'll be right there. Well, you two sound like you're getting along better. Yeah, we are. I mean, he has really terrible timing. There's a meeting that he pushed up, so now I have to go over to Metro right now. You have to leave now? I, I, I just got back. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you should really fire that guy. Yeah, yeah. I really should. So, Brian, you plan on having the Foundation's benefit here? Yes, I talked to Henry Coleman. He was more than generous with his rate for the evening. Darling, there's none of us here who isn't unaware of, of, of your problems with Henry's partner. Really. I mean, if it's a big problem, speak now. Mom, we can, we can have this, this benefit somewhere else if it's better for you. Look, I really don't have a problem with it being here. Can we just move on? So the party is to uh, raise money to um, turn the housing project in, into green space for the public? Yeah, that's the goal. Now, at our last meeting, we chose a name for our project. Project Green Up. And it's been hey! a big hit with the corporations <laughs> looking to promote a more eco-friendly image. That trend is definitely in our favor. So you've already gotten donations? Oh, more than that. In fact, if this continues, all the money we raise that night will be strictly profit. Wow. Brian, that's fantastic. Well, of course it is. He's, he's very good. He, this one, very good. Persuasive. Uh, excuse me. So who wants to talk to Kim Hughes about getting W-O-A-K involved with the event? Hmm? Dad, Mom's here. You have to come. She is? Uh-oh. What's going on here? I thought I made myself clear. You were to stay the hell away from my husband. Really? This is not what you think it is. Never is, is it? Hey, uh, let's get out of here. I just told Brian we'd uh, go talk to Kim about covering the benefits. So... Well, um, maybe you should go and I'll just... No, Luke, you should go. Go. Lily, don't. Don't you dare. What'd it take you? Two days to go back Lily, on the word? Lily, that's enough. We ran into each other because I was looking for Meg. Carly just happened to be there. What were you doing with Meg? James Stenbeck kidnapped her. What? Oh, my God. Is she all right? She's fine, but Jack and Carly were looking for her. Jack got injured. Jack got injured? Why isn't she with him? Why is she with you? It's okay. No, no, it, it's not. It's not okay. Listen, if you want to yell at me, fine. You can yell at me, but let's do it at home, okay? Fine. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Well, well if I had the different colors, that might help that out. That might help. Yeah? Okay. Did you see that? Oh, hi, Carly. Hello. Um, <laughs> oh, Carly. <laughs> Carly. Uh, this is Brian Wheatley, Carly Tenney. How do you do? Hi. Pleasure's mine. Um, anyway, Lucinda and Mr. Wheatley, I wanted to let you know how happy I am that Metro here will be hosting the benefit for your foundation. Oh, well, actually, it's Luke's foundation. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Oh, uh, Carly, excuse me, I mean... If you really meant what you just said, I have a suggestion. I'm all ears. Well, I know how, how hands-on you like to be. But this benefit, 
This benefit doesn't really need your particular brand of expertise. You understand, we want this evening to be a success. No, I'm afraid I don't understand. What exactly are you saying, Lucinda? Well, of course, Henry is an old friend. We'll continue to work with him. But on the night, do you think you could possibly, perhaps, find a place to put your charitable skills someplace else? Are you trying to kick me out of my own place? Absolutely not. I was just trying to give you a way to be more helpful. Okay. Well, let me give you a way to be helpful, yes. Lucinda. Go to hell. Some people can be so touchy. Especially when their buttons are pushed. Was I too direct? Well, you know, if keeping her at bay is what you feel is best for Lily, who's, who's to say you're wrong? What's best for Lily? Oh, my God. I don't know what's best for Lily. Poor Lily. The pain. I mean, I... When she was young, I knew exactly what was best for her. Mm -hmm. Not Holden, I thought. But, of course, the minute... The minute she saw him and all that hair, she just fell head over heels. She was a goner. Yeah, well, you know, you can't ever help who you fall in love with. Oh, I know that. I know that. I've been there several times myself. But I think that's why... I think it's why I'm so supportive of the pair of them now, of Lily and Holden, despite their double infidelities. Because I'm older and I'm wiser. And I accept. I accept everything. Now, I may buy wiser, but older, never. Oh, keep talking like that. I might like you. That's the plan. I shouldn't have gone off like that. I, I, I get this knee-jerk reaction every time I see you with Carly. I can't help it. I...